If you were a kid growing up in the 90s, or had a kid growing up in the 90s, chances are you remember Mara Wilson. Young Mara had everything going for her as a child actress, and she worked with some of the biggest names in Hollywood at the time. However, Wilson turned her back on her promising career after the numerous tragic experiences that made her change her perspective on acting, fame, and Hollywood forever. Mara's role in the 1996 film Matilda as the young girl with supernatural powers of telekinesis is probably what most people would recognize her for. At the time, she was only 9 years old when she booked the role and she was incredibly excited to be part of the project. She auditioned for the role when she was 6 years old and it came as no surprise when she booked the job. Mara and her mother were completely elated over the good news and the chance to get to work with and be directed by legendary actor Danny DeVito made it all the more exciting. Despite being so young, Mara was no stranger to the big screen. Wilson became interested in acting after seeing her older brother in TV commercials. After booking some ads of her own, she made her movie debut in Mrs. Doubtfire alongside Robin Williams. The film was the second highest grossing movie of 1993, and Wilson's performance raised her profile in the industry. Following this roaring success, she was cast in Miracle on 34th Street, which became another smash hit. Before she was even 10 years old, Mara had already had an incredibly promising career as an actress, and there were some who thought she would follow in the footsteps of other young actors like Natalie Portman and Scarlett Johansson. Behind the scenes of her growing fame, Wilson and her family lived a pretty grounded life for a child star, and her parents always made sure to protect her from the pressures that came with being in the spotlight. While she was filming for Matilda, Mara's family was struck with heartbreaking news when her mother, Susie Wilson, was diagnosed with breast cancer. Mara had to continue acting on set while her mother fought for her life and underwent treatment. Her grounded family life suddenly became marred by the trauma of having a sick parent, which was incredibly painful for Mara, her father, Michael, and her four siblings to process. While her mother battled cancer, DeVito and his wife Rhea Perlman became pillars of strength and support for the young actress. Wilson recalled that the couple would take her to see plays or to the movies or even just to hang out at their house. They did whatever they could to comfort Mara while her mother was in the hospital. She recalled, It really did keep me distracted, and it really did keep me happy. Tragically, Mara's mother passed away in 1996 while the film was in post-production. Even though some, your life may be terrible, you can still be okay sometimes. You should stand up for yourself. Unfortunately, Susie never got to see her daughter on screen from the movie they had both been so excited about. However, in Mara's 2016 biography, Where Am I Now?, she revealed that DeVito had visited the hospital and showed her mother the first cut of the movie. Mara only found out about the priceless gift he had given her mother years later. DeVito also dedicated the movie to Mara's mother. For a few years after that, I ended up passing on most of the scripts that came my way. The loss of her mother wasn't the only reason she felt she didn't want to act anymore. As Mara grew older, she began to see a different side to Hollywood that she hadn't been exposed to before. By the time she was 13 years old, she was suddenly faced with physical scrutiny and casting for more mature roles. I was not a very cute kid anymore, so Hollywood didn't really want me at that point, and I was kind of over it too, so after a while it feels like a mutual breakup. That's the way that I describe it. She started to see how the film industry treated growing young women and was suddenly being judged for how she transitioned into an adult career. Mara was exposed to how young women were being sexualized in Hollywood at such young ages, and although it was something she didn't want to be a part of, as a public figure, it was inevitable. Her parents had done their best to protect her by making sure she acted in family movies, and Mara never appeared in anything more revealing than a knee-length sundress. It was all intentional on her parents' part to keep her safe. Hi guys, please help us grow and create more exciting videos for you. If you enjoyed this story, kindly share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. However, her parents' attempts at protecting Mara from Hollywood didn't work. Wilson admitted, I had already been sexualized anyway, and I hated it. She added, people had been asking me, do you have a boyfriend? In interviews since I was six. Just as friends. Just as friends? Just, yeah, sometimes as friends. Yeah, yeah, but no, no special boy. No. What's worse, Wilson confessed that before she was even 12 years old, there were images of her on foot fetish websites and photoshopped into child pornography. The experience was horrifying for both Mara and her family, and she shared that, I felt ashamed. 
people watching me or people looking at me and it was like yeah they were people were talking about mm -hmm. my body on film sets and on the internet and it was it was very sort of horrifying unfortunately it didn't take long for all of these negative experiences to take a toll on mara's mental health she admitted to becoming very depressed and very anxious and that everything has suddenly become really hard for her Following everything she had to endure and be exposed to, Mare explained that she became kind of disenchanted with acting and with Hollywood. For a long time, Mara thought, this is what I'm good at, I have to do that. However, she realized she had to take a step back and ask herself, is this what is making me happy? Wilson's achievements made her the envy of many actors, but the fame did nothing to soothe her mental health. Following all of these experiences, Mara decided to retire from the film industry in 2000 and hasn't returned to the big screen since. She said, There wasn't like one big moment where I knew I was done. The rejection hurt because it had been just such a prominent part of my life for so long. She has no regrets about it either because now she gets to pursue her dream as a writer and it's all on her own terms. For years, Mara completely disappeared from the spotlight and it wasn't until over a decade later that she resurfaced. During her time away from the prying eyes of Hollywood, Wilson was completely focused on putting all of her energy into her writing. I'd always wanted to be a writer. I was always working on, you know, little plays and stories, you know, while I was in my trailer between shots. She went on to study playwriting and in 2016 she released her first book, a memoir called Where Am I Now? True Stories of Girlhood and Accidental Fame, and she dedicated it to her late mother. She shared, I knew there were people who felt sorry for me and people who were making up stories about me. I think I wanted to reclaim that narrative. Over the years, Mara did return to acting, but the majority of her work has been focused on web series, in which she often appears as herself. She has also taken on occasional stage roles, as well as a couple of brief returns to the screen, including a 2016 cameo in Broad City, and voiceover work on animated shows Bojack Horseman and Big Hero 6. Now 35 years old, Mara has her own blog and is a published author of two books. She uses her platform to discuss the predatory tactics of those in power in Hollywood and advocates against the sexualization of young girls in the film industry. We're so proud to see how Mara took back her power and chose to live the life that she wanted. Be well and be kind.